So again, we have two different options when it comes to creating this view. We can either do it as a standalone view and display it as a block that displays on the same page as our main blog listing view, or we can attach it to the existing view using an attachment. So we're gonna go that route. I'm gonna hover over structure and we'll go to views and we'll go to the blog homepage and click edit. Now when we created this page, we generated the page display type and also the feed, which is our RSS feed for the blog post view. And now we can add a new display by clicking this add. And we're going to click attachment. Now the idea with an attachment is that it's a view that will always display alongside another view display in this collection of view displays. As we set up the view settings here, we're not going to see it actually display alongside any view until we explicitly define which view display this is attached to. Now, one of the cool things about using an attachment is that it can share exposed filters. Now, we haven't used any exposed filters in this series, but the idea is that for any of the filters that we add to our view, we can expose it to allow the end user who's viewing the view to alter the filter settings. So for example, if we wanted them to select whether to display just blog entries or review entries, we can click on this filter and check expose this filter to visitors. And when we do that, it will display a dropdown when this view is displayed that allows the user to select which type of node type to display in the view. With an attachment, you can share these exposed filters so you only have one set of exposed filters that manipulates both views at the same time. So that's pretty cool. But also the second benefit is that it's always attached to the initial view. So if we're not looking at a place where the original view exists, the attachment won't display either. So we don't have to individually set the display settings for the second view display. We don't have to go to context or block display settings and enable it. It will simply show or hide based on the settings of the original view display.